Even the side gate is really nice. <sighs> okay. The outdoor units are nice and tucked away from the facade, but even when you can see them, it's still nice. And speaking of nice, guys, this house is so gorgeous. You can call it beautiful, you can call it foggy, it doesn't matter. It is beautiful from any angle. What you're seeing now, this is the backyard. Wait till you see the facade and every other part of this house. today's house tour. This house is a beaut. And speaking of beaut, I'm pretty sure you can see the Maserati. So if in case you want to test drive this baby as well, make sure you go to the Maserati showroom in BGC at the corner of 32nd and 4th Avenue. That being said, and this one is in Ayala Alabang village but first make sure you hit like click subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new youtube videos we're on facebook so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on instagram at presello underscore official my name is julia and welcome to another presello open house tour right from the get-go everything already looks aesthetic it looks beautiful it looks nice and fresh and i'm hyping you up because i'm super excited hopefully you're super excited make sure you comment down below later what you think of this house because it is beautiful okay so you have here your vehicle gate but let's go through the pedestrian entrance right here so the first thing you will see is a pathway that will lead to your main entrance, which is this really striking, simple, elegant main door. So you have four steps going up with a very minimalist handrail, mind you. Garden space on your left, this beautiful and layered facade, and then access to your four vehicle carport, which is practically covered. Now, I want you to pay attention to the ceiling. It's nice, simple, and elegant. And I think that is what encapsulates or encapsulates this house. Nice, simple, elegant, timeless. So over here, we have a side gate on the right. We're gonna check out later on what is in there. But for now, let's go through the main entrance. So you have here, Practically flush main door, nice and striking with its matte black. 
some vertical lines, and then glass panes on either side of your door. So, spoiler ahead, this house lets in a lot of light. But speaking of light, this house faces the west, but the bedrooms are in the east. Basically, you get morning sun in the bedrooms and then nice and dramatic light in the afternoons. So as you open your main door, this is what will greet you. One word, maaliwalas. I've used that word several times before, but man, I think this is the epitome of maaliwalas. It's so nice and bright, magaan sa pakiramdam, magaan sa mata. It's gorgeous. So your foyer has a lot of space. You can imagine putting a console table here. You have your outlets at the ready in case you want to put, you know, lamps, lighting, etc. You can put a mirror. And then here, to signify your foyer versus the other areas of the open space, you have wooden slats on the ceiling. And then immediately to your left, you can see that we have glass panels. And this one will lead you to your den or office, really whatever it is that you want it to be. It's a nice and big open space. You have lots of light coming in thanks to the sliding doors that lead out into your backyard. As well as your swimming pool. It's a nice lap pool, perfect for dipping and maybe doing a few laps for exercise, right? And then apart from the sliding doors, these windows are huge. Okay, so they really really let in a lot of light, which is great because you can save on energy just by not turning on the lights. You don't really need to because it's already so bright. And then here you have access to your ensuite, toilet and bath. Now this is dual purpose. It can be your TNB for the office or your den. It already comes with your sink, water closet, and shower space, as well as for your swimming pool. So from the backyard or your pool, you have access here to a shower area so from the pool you can take a shower and then go back in here and towards the toilet bath how practical how well thought out is that and then this what you're seeing here is another side gate so this one leads out to the garden in the front okay so let's go back oh just look at the lines it's so nice and clean even the plants look so Aesthetic. Okay, so back out here in the open area, you have more of these beautiful sliding glass panels which let you see your swimming pool and your very, very manicured garden. But basically, this is open space for your living and your dining. So the house already comes with the split type air conditioning units that you will see throughout. And then this is the kitchen. Oh, this kitchen is beautiful. So it's already fully equipped. You have your stove, your range, your microwave, your refrigerator. You have lots of storage, lots of counter space. You have an island counter here in the middle. Again, lots of storage here. And then a huge window. I love it when there's a huge window in front of the sink. And again, it has a view of a very manicured garden. You can add more, you can add uh, more plants rather, more color in there if you wanted to, or just keep it as is, as a zen garden with lots of bamboo. You can also put some stools in here, so you have a bit of space there to uh, stow them further in. And then around, oops, big bed. <laughs> and then around the refrigerator, you have more storage. Okay, now this. Uh, are you guys in for a treat? Okay, so you have here a service door from the kitchen. So behind here, we have the panels, right? The electrical panels. And then this is storage. Nah, we got the pause option, so we're not going to go so see it out. But that is storage, shelving. And then here we have stairs that lead to the basement. And this basement, guys, guys, I'm the best. <laughs> this is one of the best basements I've ever seen. In the moment you go down, you have here this huge panel, screen. Panel. Okay, so obviously this one is solid and these are slash proof screens. Hopefully you can hear it. Hear that? <laughs> so slash proof and they let in so much breeze. And then on this side we have jealousy windows with again screens and then another door with slash proof screens. Before we go out, let's check out this one first. 
So here we have the daily kitchen. And again, it's already fully equipped. You have counter space, you have your stove, your uh, hood, your sink, and then a refrigerator. And then in here, we have the staff quarters. This is also one of the best staff quarters I've seen. Personally, I would love to live here. So you have a lot of space. You have a lot of windows. Very breezy, right? And then here, you have a lot of storage. You have storage here, you have wardrobe here. And then you have the sink in here. So in case you have maybe two staff or two per in case you have a two-person staff for your household, they can definitely share this room because the sink is outside. And then in here you have the water closet. And then here is your shower area. So anyway, they don't have to in case they just want to brush their teeth or wash their hands, etc. And you notice anything? It's not left out. It's not different from the rest of the house. I mean, sure, the colors are different, but the quality, the way it's made, it's consistent. Pero this service area talaga ang ganda. I love the tiles that come in a classic checkered pattern. These never go out of style. Huh? Priscilla, Priscilla. Oh, you're right. Oh, you are right. We fit in with the theme of the house. I don't know but I don't know So anyways, let's go out here. One of my favorite areas. One of my favorite things to do with the house. Nice to have it. You have your laundry area. It's nice and open. You have this huge counter space. An open window. A built-in sink. Some storage down here. And then this is your provision for your washing machine. It's nice and covered. Your washing machine isn't going to get rained on or one, so it's going to be preserved. And then out in here, um, the sun is hitting the area so nicely thanks to all the bamboo around. But here you have your tanks and your drying space. So you can put your uh, clothes line in here. Oh, diba? And then from here, you can see the panel again that we passed earlier, and then a set of stairs. When you go up, that will lead you to the side gate that we saw from the vehicle carport. Cool, right? Yeah, let's, let's go here to this side. And then from that screen door, when you cross the floor, you have another one. So nice and solid. Screen door lang po. Ang ganda ng, ganda ng handle. Okay, so from here, we have your pressure water, water pressure tank. And then a storage room. So it's nice. It's, uh, it's a nice size. You have a screen awning over here. Actually, it's awning, sorry. It's just, it's a window with a screen. It doesn't even have glass. Para hindi mga moy kulo dito. And I love the fact that they use, used this simple T5. T5. <laughs> and then right next to that, we have the male staff club and bath. So you have your sink, your water closet, and your shower space. And then right next to that is the actual male staff room. You have ample space for one person, a shelf, and more storage. And then still, lots or a huge window. Hi. <laughs> Jealousy window with a screen on two sides. I love this area. Hello. <laughs> hey, so technically this entire floor, which doesn't feel like a basement by the way, staff area na siya. It's a self-sustaining staff area. So in case let's say the owners go away or go abroad, the bats dito lang yung mga staff. They can be in this entire area, no problem. It's already complete. Na siya. You have the bedrooms, the toilet and bath, the storage, the kitchen area, the laundry. You even have a bit of space here for more storage or things that you might want to put in there. Na kailangan, diba? It's really nice. Okay, there's a lot more. Okay, we've only covered the ground floor and the basement. We still have two more floors going up. But I would just like to remind you to hit like and subscribe. And if you need help selling your property, make sure you go to our website and click the tab sell my property. I don't know if it's gonna sell it that way. Maybe I'll be this.
So babangitin ko lang real quick. There's a bit of a platform over there. It's a cement platform with some rocks. Parang cobblestone. So it's where you can put your seating. It's just a nice accent. They didn't have to do that, but it looks so nice while still being minimalist. Okay. So now you have a view of this open area from that angle. And then this is where the stairs, you know, is built. <laughs> so before we head up, there's a door here and this is more storage. Now it's quite spacious. Yes, it is under the stairs, but look at how high that is. There's also a vent on top, or on top of the door. And then there's more space here. It's actually, like I can still vanish into it. So, you know. <laughs> it's it's a huge space. And yes, it comes with a light. <laughs> Alright, let's head up. Take note as well of the nice little lights that lead you up the stairs. This house is in Ayala Alabang village. So it's a really, really big village here in Muntinlupa. It's a very nice and quiet neighborhood with lots of wide open roads and it's just it's nice and fresh in here. It's also near La Salle Zubel, Bustan Supermarkets, Ayala Malls, SM Malls, parks and actually the village itself looks like a park already with lots of lush greenery. It's definitely one of the best villages that you can get, especially here in Muntilupa and even in the whole of Metro Manila. Also here at the mezzanine level, I don't know if you can tell from the video, basically the walls are white, right? They're a matte white or eggshell white, but this one is a different kind of white. It's more on the cooler side. So it's a very subtle detail, but it's just it's such a treat for the eyes. Si Johnny na kapatay ng ito, ano kasi si Pino. Meron ako ng psychic powers. <laughs> okay, so on the second floor we have more open spaces. And this time it's very high ceiling. This is your family area. You have lots of light. You can open these as well. It's meron na rin siyang screen to just let the breeze in. And then here, let me try opening it. Oh, it's so smooth. Okay, so anyways. So you can see these. So you can see the potted plants, etc. And maybe, you know, the plants that actually creep out and then out the railing. That's going to look really romantic. Okay. So before we, go to, before we go to that room, let's go to this one first. So from your family area, you have this little nook which, can I say, is just adorable, especially with the light coming in. Okay, so this is multi-purpose. It can be your kitchen, it can be your laundry. So may abang na for your washing machine and, you know, other appliances. So it's just nice because it's very close to the master bedroom and bedroom number two. So in case the family wanted to do their own laundry and not go downstairs, it's very convenient. Here we have bedroom number two. We have this much space. Again, we have the sliding windows here with the space for your potted plants. And then here is, you have a view of the rear of your property. But it's not a problem because again, all you see are plants. Such a nice neighborhood. And you have your own suite, toilet and bath, with a walk-in closet. We have lots of space. You have shelving over here, wardrobe, wardrobe, drawers, shelves, and then the actual toilet and bath. Your shower space, your water closet, and then your sink. Just imagine fixing yourself in here. With that light, perfect. Also, the flooring is nada, so it's parquet. It's wood parquet. So this one has this pattern, basically uh, planks, right? But out here in the common areas, it's in a chevron pattern. It's so nice. They're so classic 
it's so timeless. These are the kinds of design elements that never go out of style. Okay, so across the floor, we have the master bedroom, aka bedroom number one. We have a lot of space for your master bedroom, a lot of space. And also high ceiling, we have this hip roof over here. It's very subtle, like, yeah, it's high ceiling, it has the shape, it has the cove lighting, it has the down lights, it has the patterns. Despite that, to the eyes, it's very clean, it's very simple. When in fact, it's not a flat roof, but it feels so light and simple. It's amazing. And then from here again, you have the sliding doors. This time though, you can actually go out to your balcony and admire the side of your house, which is basically black and white. But it has texture. It has your mat, it has your powder coated black surfaces, it has your roof tiles, it has the uh, matte white. You can see your swimming pool. Just add on to that when we get on of plants again. And then oh, let's check this one out first. On this side of the master bedroom, so this is the facade of your house, right? You have these windows that already come with the screens, pull down screens, or roll down screens rather. And this is a sort of bay window. It doesn't have the bay, <laughs> I mean the, the seats, but it does actually kind of, um, it's perfect for a reading nook since you already have your outlets in there. And then it's up to you where you want to put your bed, which is basically where John is right now, where you are. <laughs> then of course, it wouldn't be a master bedroom without a master. Well, so we told me back with a huge walk-in closet. So on this side, of course, storage, 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 vanity, and then storage on the other side. Now this one though, I really, really appreciate. Go back later, after you finish this video, balikan niyo yung pasad. From the outside, because this is brilliant. These are louvers, na awning. So you open them up to let the air in, even if you don't close your windows. Kahit umuulan, hindi magbabasa because of the louvers. Because obviously each slide is like that, diba? I'm not sure if I'm making sense to you guys. Pero pag umuulan, hindi siya magbasa. Pababalang siya magbabas. So that's it. Doesn't like it prevents the heat of the sun from getting in and still lets the breeze go in. That's basically it. And it's brilliant. And speaking of brilliant, my gosh, it's so bright in here. I am the complete opposite of this toilet and bath. It's so beautiful. Everything is nice and bright and light. You have a his and her sinks. You already have your mirrors and lamps installed. And the best part, apart from this huge window that I really like, is the fact that you have your shower, your enclosed shower, area in here. Again, you have the louver awning over there. That was not what I want to It's so nice. You have privacy while you're doing your business and you have your own window. You can literally moony moony in there. It's my I mean come on comment down below who doesn't do that. I would I would probably <laughs> I love this little room. Also it already comes with the tissue holder. So you, it, it can hold two tissue rolls, and this is where you put your phone. Just saying. Obviously, you guys can probably tell this is one of my favorite house doors today. Because it's just so nice. Okay, before we head out, I just want to show you the door. So this is lacquered. So I don't know, can you, can you tell the texture? It's really... It's this smooth, powdery kind of finish. Not powdery, but it looks powdery. But it's really smooth. So, open as you the damp cloth, okay, na. no problem. Then again, the walls are this nice eggshell or matte white. Okay. Oh, one last thing the banisters. Look at how simple it is. They're just vertical, vertical tubes, and then it's your actual hand bale. And there's a certain pattern, so it's not solid on both sides, diba? Sa isang side lang. It's consistent on all floors. Simple design that just works so well. Again, 
another huge window with a screen that's in so much light. And on the top floor, it's also unique from the third floor or the second floor. So here in the middle part, you can see the shape of your roof. Again, it almost feels like a barn house, but ultra modern. So in essence, this entire house has timeless designs. It'll never go out of It's the perfect blank canvas. Kahit ano furniture ilagay niya dito, kahit gawin yung mid-century, kahit gawin yung medyo cottage core, which is, comment down below if that's your thing, pero no. Modern, organic, all of it is gonna work so well with this house. You can really inject your personality and it's gonna stand out. You can make it your own. And it's not boring. It has these little details, but it. Okay, so from here you can see more <laughs> views of your neighborhood, more trees. Your neighbor thankfully has a nice roof. And then these windows are fixed. Uh, sorry, correction. The one in the middle is fixed. The ones on either side you can open. And here we have bedroom number three, but before you reach this door, we have another nook. And this is your linen area or linen closet. But you basically have this entire hallway to work with. So it's nice and flush. And then you have these gold handlebars. Gold bars! I mean, they're not actual gold. Although it's up to you if you want to replace it with actual gold. That's going to be some really expensive handlebars. I'm just mumbling. Okay, bedroom number three. Again, you have this much space. This time, your ceiling is a little bit different. You have some cold. It's quite similar to the master bedroom ceiling, but just a little less hipped or a little less raised. You have your own balcony in here. Then again, more windows on this side that has a view of your neighborhood or actually just your neighbor's plants. <laughs> And it's so peaceful, you can see them swaying in the wind. Whether it's nice and sunny or nice and rainy, you're gonna appreciate it. And again, here we have a walk in closet. Different configuration from the one downstairs. So it's up to you what you wanna do with the space, but this is basically for shoes and then shelving, etc. And then here you have the toilet and bath. So again, your walk in closet, your enclosed shower space, your water closet, and then your sink. And two windows. Oh, look at that, it's so dramatic. You can put little items in here, maybe a plant in there, some paintings just leaning against the wall, or even a console table. There are some outlets there if you want to put lights, etc. Telephone. And then here, final bedroom, bedroom number four. Again, lots of space, lots of light. You have that really nice ceiling again. And then your own balcony, but this time at the facade or at the front of your property. So this is the only room with a view of that side. And it's really nice. So in Kanina, Puru plants, the Babito, you can actually see a horizon. Ito at saka master bedroom lang ang may ang nakaharap yung windows dito. And both of them have very different views. Both of them are very nice. And this is the ultimate toilet and bath. You can kind of consider this as a junior master suite, just because it's so big. So you have your vanity over here with some storage below. Again, a window that faces the front of your property. Storage. Shelving up top, shelving for your shoes. And the actual toilet and bath with your water closet, your enclosed shower space, and your sink. Oh, it's so well made. Okay. Whew. Man, houses like this are so... I don't know. I really like this house. It's beautiful. It's timeless. It's very well appointed. Like the areas are very well thought out. Super. So let's get on with the recap. So I can, so that you can start typing in the comments what you think of this house because I really want to know. I like this house. I hope you like it as well. 
You have 560 square meters of floor area and then 400 square meters of lot area. Four bedrooms, each with their own ensuite toilet and bath. A den on the ground floor with a guest toilet and bath. And I say, oops. <laughs> and I say guest because it also has access from the outside for the ones using the swimming pool. A swimming pool with a lanai. Lots of storage and that massive, massive semi-basement. I say semi because it doesn't feel like a basement, right? It doesn't feel like a basement at all. So, brang aliwalas din nung, nung, well, basement. <laughs> so, that comes a laundry area, a daily kitchen, female and male staff quarters, your water tank, again, more storage, and then a kitchenette and laundry area on the second floor, and then a linen closet on the third floor, and then a four-vehicle carport all nicely wrapped in this beautiful package of a home which is in Ayala, Alabang village. So if you or anyone you know is interested in a place like this, send this video to them or send us a message or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here.